we have a lot of it. The reason why corn is being used right now is that there's a surplus of it. Uh, and so it's a tail wagging the dog. Right now, alcohol production is, has developed as a way of using surplus from corn rather than thinking of it as the main reason for farming is to produce energy. And you'll see why we're going to turn that paradigm on its head. But right now, that's what's getting alcohol out there is trying to do something with something that is so surplus and it's being sold for so little that if a farmer wants to make a middle class living, he has to literally farm a thousand acres in the Midwest. You're talking about a net profit per acre of $50 on a whole acre of corn. So with this incredible surplus of corn, which is engineered by government policy, you know, um, primarily because corporations want to feed corn to cattle. And we're going to get into that in a little bit because this all ties in. So let's tell you a little bit about making alcohol and the carbon dioxide issue. Sit back here and see where we want to go. Where do I want to go next with this? Now, making alcohol is really mankind's second oldest profession. We're talking about something that is low tech. We really understand how to do this. It doesn't take really sophisticated equipment to pull it off. Basically, making wine has been something you know, we've been doing forever, and making you know, distilled spirits, even the Greeks did that. So, so we're not talking about anything that is patentable. There's nothing proprietary. There's nothing high tech that someone can latch onto and say, it's mine and you can't do it. Anyone can make alcohol. Um, questions? I'm just wondering if you could also, with some of the things we're talking about farming, touch upon the whole bioengineered aspect of it. I'm thinking where I want to do that because there's a part of this where the work we're doing is intended to send Monsanto straight to hell. And um, let's do it now. Let's do it now. 